Hello everyone, my name is Baha Winjain from Mixed Dimensions and today I will introduce Lightmap Manager 2, Save and Load functionality. First, let me introduce Lightmap Manager 2, which is a utility for Unity that helps enhancing the light mapping workflow through providing some unique features like saving and loading of light maps, animated light maps, pair object baking, pair object light map saving, blending between multiple light maps, and other features that will be introduced later. Today, we will focus on the save and load functionality. First, le let's explain how to launch Lightmap Manager 2. From the main menu, go to Lightmap Manager, Manage. You will have the Lightmap Manager menu. To save and load light maps, you can simply bake your light maps. And once the light maps get baked, you can set a name for the light maps. Let's name it light map test one. Give it a description. Light map test and click on save light maps. So we have the first set saved. Now let's change the color of the light to blue and let's pick a new light map and let's save it as light map test 2 now let's load the first test we have uh, saved and let's reload the second test we have saved so this is the basic features of the save and load functionality in Lightmap Manager 2. With Lightmap Manager, you can customize the settings of the light mapping the same way you can customize it with the normal light mapping menu, but with an extra field, which is the max atlas width and height. With this field, you can set each map with a specific size, let's say the max the max size for each map will be 46 big now instead of having only one map we will have three maps because we have reduced the max atlas width and height with light map manager you can resize the map size through selecting an object then changing the size of the map this will either reduce the resolution of the light map for publishing for web games or mobile games or you can increase the size of the light map which can help in getting a higher details also you can control the brightness of the light maps through the brightness menu you can either decrease the brightness or you can increase the brightness instead of redoing the whole light mapping this is also cool when you want to do switching between day and night so you can simply add a brightness component to the object in the inspector of the object you can set the light mapping options to do on both far and near you can execute on start, awake, update or fixed update you can even do your own triggering mechanism you can set how much amount will happen let's say this is the difference increasing the brightness by 0 0.01 now let's set the maximum amount to 2 and when we launch you will see that the scene will getting brighter let's increase this amount to 5 another cool feature is the tint that will let you tint the color light map
And in the same way we have done with the brightness, we can add a tint effect and execute on far, near, or both. Execute on start or awake, and we can start tinting between the current light map and the tint color. With Light Map Manager, you can blend between multiple light maps through adding the blend effect. With the blend effect, you select the texture you want to blend with. Let's select this one, which is the red one. And we set how much of a blending level we will have, whether to happen on far, near, or both light maps. When to execute on start, awake, update, or fixed update, you can also do a triggering for your own scripting of the blend effect you can set the maximum amount of blending and the minimum amount of blending if you are decreasing the blend level let's start testing the blend effect as you can see we have blend from blue to red Another unique feature in Light Map Manager is the ability to blend between multiple light maps and the ability to switch between multiple light maps. Let's first add the switch effect. We can set the switch to happen for the far light maps, the near light maps, or both. We can also execute the, the switch on start or awake on a, on a trigger. And now let's add switch textures for far and switch textures for near let's click play and see the result as you can see we have switched from blue to a red light map with light map manager 2 you can save your light mapped objects as prefabs and then retrieve them even if you don't have any light maps in your scene one of the major and important aspects when you want to save light mapped objects is to always make sure that the max atlas width and height is as low as possible to get more maps for more objects in your scene to avoid conflict between multiple objects. To save light mapped objects, you name your selected object Perl. You can even add a description, blue barrel, and then you can simply click on save as a prefab with light mapping. You can get it on the light mapped objects, and if you cleared the scene, you can load the saved light mapped objects and retrieve it with its light maps. With Light Map Manager 2, you have the unique ability to bake selection without losing light mapping on the rest of the objects in, in the scene by simply changing first the light and then you can select the objects you want to bake and click on bake selection without losing light mapping on the rest. Now we have baked the new selection with the red light and we have kept the rest of the elements in the scene with the old light mapping. One of the unique features of Light Map Manager 2 is the ability to bake animated light maps. By simply selecting an animated light, let's see the animation so the light is rotating and the color is changing and we can set the capture frame rate and we can give a name for the animated light maps then we can simply click on record animated light maps okay what light map manager 2 will do is that it will record animation baking 
for every frame and then it will play it on runtime we have skipped the animation baking process because it takes some time to finish but it actually runs on a separate thread similar to the approach used by unity for light mapping so you don't have to stop your work while it is getting baked by light map manager so when the animation baking process finish you can simply see the light maps by switching to the frames and you can see it playing on the runtime as well thanks everyone